CMS, and welcome to the Extra Special Thanksgiving Broadcast. I'm Riley. And I'm Michaela. Wow, it's been getting really chilly out lately. Yeah, it's so cold that I can even see my breath in the air. Hey, I heard Mo and Rowan know all about the weather for Thanksgiving break. Let's go to Mo and Rowan for the weather. Hey, DMS. Where's Mo? I've been trying to find the weather. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go see your Thanksgiving break weather. On Wednesday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 45 and a low of 28. On Thursday, it's going to be mostly sunny. Pull out those sunglasses because you got a high of 48 and a low of 36. Your Friday's forecast is partly cloudy with a high of 53 and a low of 41. On Saturday, you got a high of 48 and a low of 38. Might want to keep those sunglasses on. <laughs> Hello, DMS. For your final day of Thanksgiving break, on Sunday, you have a high of 48 and a low of 36. Well, DMS, that's the last of the weather. And what's even sadder is it's the last of me and Rowan's weather. It's the last segment that me and Rowan will do for you guys for your first semester at Discovery Middle School. Thanks for watching. Who knows? We might be back. Wow, the weather's going to be chilly, but thank goodness for the sun. Hey, I hope the weather is okay for people to go hunting. Well, let's go to Joey for some information on deer hunting. Hello, DMS. I'm Joey Farrar, and I'm here to tell you about our students in your deer hunting this season. I'm here with... Cornelson, 5'8", 150 pounds. And what grade are you in? 8th grade. That's amazing. Starting middle school. That's amazing. Now, Clint, when did you start to deer hunt? Well, I started to deer hunt ever since I was 6. My dad would always take me. But uh, when I was 10, I actually started shooting a gun. Mm. Now, Clint, what do you, where do you deer hunt? Breckenridge, Missouri. Breckenridge, Missouri. What's your favorite memory? Well, this wasn't really my favorite memory, but it was a good one. Okay. Um, well... This is my first year shooting a gun because I was 10 years old. And I was all fine with the fact of deer hunting because I never really thought it through when I was a kid. But I went and I shot the deer and then for some reason it just hit me. Like I started crying for some reason because like I was like that deer had a family too and I just took him from his family and I didn't really think it through. It was a six point deer, but I mean, I had to get over the fact that my dad had to talk me through it. It was so a sad that, day. So was that your biggest deer, or what is your biggest deer? It's six point. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for your time, DMS. I'm here with. Cool, that's five eight, 150 pounds. Hello, DMS. I'm here with. Colton Childers. Cole, what grade are you in? I'm in eighth grade. That's great. Now, uh, Cole, what, when did deer season start? Deer season started on November 11th. That's good. Now, where do you go deer hunting? I deer hunt in Breckenridge, Missouri. How long have you been deer hunting? Since I was six. What is your favorite deer hunting memory? Probably when I killed my biggest deer. That is nice. Now, what is the biggest deer you killed? It is an eight-pointer, but... That's pretty good. Happy deer hunt, DMS. Back to you, Michaela and Riley. That's so cool. I bet all that hunting works up an appetite. Hey, I heard Mo is making some delicious treats. Let's go see how to make Mo's desserts. Hey, DMS. With Thanksgiving coming up, I'm sure you're looking for a way to impress your family. Well, what better way to impress them than to make them some sweet treats? Let's get cooking. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Next, you're going to take 3 fourths cup of sugar and put that right into the blender. Then, you're going to take one can of evaporated milk and put that into the blender with your sugar. After you've done that, you're going to take two eggs, put it in the blender, and blend that together for a minute. Next, you take a half cup of Bisquick, put it in the blender, two tablespoons of butter, put it in the blender, and one can of pumpkin, and like the rest, put it right into the blender. Once those are in, you can take two teaspoons of vanilla and two teaspoons of pumpkin spice. Once you've blended those all together, you're going to put that right into a greased pan and into the oven. And once you're done, voila! Just like that. The 
job, Mo. Let's still go. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> it's very um, soft and flavory. It's very good. It has perfect texture. It's not as sweet as I'm used to, but it is pretty darn delicious. Um, I liked the pumpkin pie. Yes. I thought it was interesting that it didn't have a crust that it just kind of bakes in there. Yeah, it looks it really, really tasty. Different. But I love peanut butter too, so the cornflakes were awesome. And you're not a pecan pie eater. Not, but the crust was awesome. Yeah, great crust. Really good. I loved the cornflakes with peanut butter. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, if you'll turn your head, I'll be taking the rest of them with you. <laughs> the, Don't look. Uh, the pecan pie is I'll put them in my fantastic. Jacket. Loved the pecan pie. That the caramelized sugar gives me the willies. It's so good. <laughs> Well, DMS, I hope you learned how to show off to your family, and I hope you have a great turkey day. Gobble till you wobble. Mmm, this looks amazing. Yeah, my stomach's growling even more. Hey, I heard that Rowan has interviewed Lauren on her Thanksgiving tradition. Apple turkey. Oh my goodness, that sounds so cool. Let's go to Rowan with her interview with Lauren. What's up, DMS? Let's go interview Lauren for her Thanksgiving tradition. What is your name? Lauren. What grade are you in? Eighth grade. What is this that you make for your Thanksgiving tradition? Um, an apple swan turkey thingy. How long does this take to make? Um, probably like 15 minutes. Nice. Um, how did you learn how to do this? Um, my grandpa used to do it in the Crown Center building, and so he taught my mom, and then my mom taught me, and so on. So. How do you make this? I actually have a video of how to do it. Nice. Thank you. No problem. Rowan Jensen signing off for DMS Broadcasting. I hope you have a great turkey day, DMS. Wow, that's a really cool tradition. Yeah, I heard that Jay and Landon has some things to say on Thanksgiving traditions. That's right. Let's check out Jay and Landon's interviews on Thanksgiving traditions. What's up, DMS? I'm Jay. I'm Landon, and today we're going to be interviewing people about Thanksgiving traditions. Let's bounce. <laughs> Yo, what's up, DMS? Today I'm here with Joey Ferraro. And today I'm going to be interviewing him about his Thanksgiving traditions. So, Joey, where do you usually go for Thanksgiving? Uh, I, I usually go to my nannies. No. Sounds like a nice lady. Thank you. Uh, what do you usually do there? You know, we usually, usually play some bochi. Oh, we we'll also make cannolis. Best cannolis you'll ever have. Oh, those sound like good cannolis. Great cannolis. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So, what else do you make? Oh, we also make some Italian cookies, but that depends if my nine wants to make them or not. Alright, so cannolis and cookies. And cookies. Alright, so, uh, how long has it been going on? So, yeah, about a hundred years. hundred years? hundred years. Mm -hmm. That sounds nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Jay Briones interviewing Chloe Watts about Thanksgiving traditions. What grade are you in, Chloe? Eighth grade. And do you go anywhere special for Thanksgiving? I go to my aunt's house. And who is all there? My entire side of my mom's family. And what do you do there? Well, we have a big feast, and then after dinner, we cut out coupons for Black Friday shopping. How long has it been going on? Since my mom and her cousins were about 10 or 15 years old. Thank you. Of course. Yo, what's up, Dean Mess? Today I'm with... Emery Glass. And what grade are you in? Seventh grade. All right. So, where do you go for Thanksgiving? Um, we usually go to my house or my dad's brother's house and we all get together. All right, so what do you usually do there? Um, we have a big meal and we do crafts with our family. That Go sounds fun. Them. So how long has it been going on? Oh, ever since, ever since I was born, we've done it. All, all right. Together. Well, thank you. Thank you. 
I'm Jay Briones, interviewing most rather about Thanksgiving traditions. What grade are you in now? I'm in eighth grade. And do you go anywhere special for Thanksgiving? Yeah, we go to my Aunt Jody's farm in St. James, Minnesota. And who's all exactly there? Um, all the family on my dad's stepdad's side. What traditions do you guys do there? Um, since we don't go down for Christmas and Thanksgiving, we have like Thanksgiving dinner and then we celebrate Christmas and we play a game called White Elephant. And how long has it been going on? Um, I think it's been going on since before I was born, so probably like over 13 years. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Hope you had fun learning about DMS Kiss traditions on Thanksgiving. Let's dive back to Rye Rye and McKay. Okay. Whoa, those traditions were so cool. But Riley, do you know what time it is? Uh, it's about half past seven. No, no, it's time to end the broadcast. Right, I knew that. Well then, DMS, that's all we have for you. Have, have a, a good, good turkey, turkey day, day, DMS! <laughs>